Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. This is Gagan. Today I'm going to discuss Data Cloud Document AI in Agent Force. So Document AI is a new topic in Salesforce and earlier most of the LLM has provided this service of using the Document AI. So using the Document AI, you can convert unstructured data to the structured data. So what are the unstructured data? PDF images or some bills, bills images, right? Some kind of picture or snapshot or screenshot is unstructured data because you cannot query the data inside this kind of document. Right. So con converting this kind of document to structured data, we can use document AI in Salesforce now. Uh, so in order to use this, what you have to do, you have to go to your data cloud, the application, and then you have to choose unstructured data and then click. You have to click this button new and then click without a source object. Click next. You can also use a source object, but for the demo purpose, I'm just using without any source object. And I have one PDF. This is just a sample PDF that I get from one of the AI. It's just a sample PDF where like you can see this invoice, bill to information, what is the description, item one, item two, three, four, item number, and then cost. And then at the end, we have the total cost, and this is the address. Um from the where like the person who has generated this mill. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to just upload um this this document uh so i can just go to downloads so this is the same document i'm uploading this pdf document i have uploaded here once it's done what you can do you can choose the llm model that you want would like to choose uh, so i'm choosing gemini 2.0 flash llm model and now in order to extract the json from this pdf because this is just a pdf now in order to convert this into unstructured data you have to create a structure of this pdf so i'm choosing this using llm auto extract so, so ai will run in the background will scan this pdf and create the structure next it will take some time and it will create the json structure here so here you can see like JSON structure has been converted built to address one contact contact address subtotal text. All of this information has been extracted from this PDF. So this is just the schema. So this is just the schema at the moment. If I will hit test, it will get all the details based on this schema from this sample PDF. So here you can see this is a build to information address phone number. So will do information, phone number, address, all of this information has been extracted. And then you can see total, subtotal, all of this information has been also extracted. If you want to, if you wish to add any other field, you can add any, some other field as well as per your you know, requirement. So this is, this is something that you have to do initially when you're going to, you know, convert unstructured data to structured data, you can click save and you can give a name of this document schema as of now I have already created for the same document in my environment so here you can see so one of the document AI I have already created now I'm going to show you one document of the Salesforce so first of all I would like to thanks Akshat, Akshat Asawand I think she has given the demo and the demo was really good I was struggling a bit uh, in the starting but anyway, uh, this is working uh, really fine. And thanks to her. So there is a document. Uh, this is a document process unstructured data with the document AI. And here all the information has been mentioned. So if you wanted to basically use this document AI, right? So you have to call an API and you have to do the post action. Then only you will get, you, you can extract the data from the PDF or a particular image. So in this document is mentioned that you have to hit this particular AI with a post action and your request word should be like this. Um, so here you have to give uh, the value of the document AI that you have created. So this is the name build template. Okay. And then you have to pass that data in, in, in database 64 format. Um, so I have already, uh, you know, you, I'm using this particular, uh, you know, website to convert a document into base 64 just for the uh, docu uh, demo purpose. I will also share that how you can add this into agent force. So stay tuned. So here you have to pass the data, give your PDF data in the format of base 64. This is a meme type. 
and you have once you will do this you will get the response your structured data okay so this is the workbench i'm going to go to use rest explorer okay as per this document it's mentioned that you have to use this api so um this another url url there's a multiple type of api you can use so what i'm api i'm using for this de demo purposes this api uh, so document processing action extract data and this is my json so idp configuration id or name this is nothing but the document api name that i created so the document api name is build template this is the api name you have to copy and paste here meme type is the application pdf our document is nothing but a pdf so you have to put that the document type is pdf now last data to data data is nothing but your pdf but it should be in base 64 format so for that what you can do you can go to online like convert pdf to base 64 and maybe you can just land to this particular page base 64.guru what you have to do you have to just attach your pdf uh, go to download attach your pdf okay and then you have to click this um you have to click this base 64 and code pdf to base 64 so this will convert your pdf to base 64 so whatever the value you will get you to copy and pass this here under data so as soon as i will click ex execute it will give me the structured data it will just fetch all the data from the pdf and it will give me node and value node and value so here you can see i can see the data you can see this quote 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 but ignore that but we have received the value right you can see uh, we are getting the value the name right this is nothing but the build to <coughs> and we have also received a uh, number all the numbers so this is like the structured data it's just like it's coming in the html format i don't know why it's uh, coming but what i have done uh, again what i have done here is i create one class this is a class we are doing the same procedure but in the in the in the apex class so that i can remove this you know this quote values so what i have to do i have to just copy this and i have to go to utility apex class control a control b okay so again what i am doing uh, now i'm not uh, passing the pdf i'm not passing this hard coded value instead i have uploaded this document if i just go to my my workbench not workbench my inspector data exporter data export and if i just go my query uh, so yeah okay so if i go here and if i just open this so i already uploaded this document uh, in the content object uh not this sorry um mm, maybe well, let me see yeah this is a document so you can see i already uploaded this document inside the salesforce what you have to do you have to just copy this id and in your class you have to just query it and once i get this document okay i converted this document into base 64 here in the line number here so you can see encoding util dot base 64 so whatever the value i'm getting document person i'm getting i'm just converting it instead of using this online tool all right and what I'm doing, I'm just making the call out post action to this endpoint is the same endpoint I was using in the bug patch. Don't worry, I will share each and every information with you. And uh, so here you can see here I'm I'm creating my request body. So meme type is application PDF. Data is the data that we are getting after converting the PDF to base 64. The PDF we are getting the PDF by making the query on content version. We're converting to file uh, file. We're converting to converting the PDF into base 64, and then this base 64 we are 
adding into our request and then we are hitting this endpoint with the post method and then we are getting some response and then you know we were getting the quote and quote 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 values so i'm just converting this code to the real code okay and then i'm uh displaying this into system.debug so let me execute this so we are we are sending the pdf details to the document ai uh, uh endpoint we are also saying that i want the structured data based on based on this document ai because in the because in the request body we are passing the name of document ai right so name of the document ai is this right build template so we have added this uh this name build template right because we created the structure of the uh, the pdf like structure of the data that we want in that particular json which we have configured here so yeah so here you must see the data in correct format so here you can see this is uh, not this one uh, let me go down so here you can see this is the structured data right build to is nothing but gn plath contact is eway backer item is these are these are the own information right so all of this information is nothing nothing but extracted from this pdf based on the data structure we created the schema we created in the document ai same thing what i did uh so what what i did i created one apex class here i created one apex class okay now i have stored this document id in an object called one second card application so the document id is there this is the file id okay so when i'm asking agent force please give me the information of the pdf which is stored for the application name gagan so this is like suppose someone is applying for the credit card or something right so they have stored the document so whatever the document we have stored for gagan anand i, I will be attached with the lookup field right so i am going to ask agent force can we can you please provide me the details of the document which is stored for the gagan uh, as an applicant for card a card application so what i'm going to do here is i created one agent action agent force action so i'm going to set up or maybe i can just directly run from here let me see now this is not work from here so here Uh, I think I'm not not configured this one. So what I can go, I what I can do, I can go to agent force. I can go to agent force actions. So, and in the default agent force actions, you scroll down. Here in the default agent force action version one, I have created on agent force topic. And the topic is to get the details from the PDF. So this is a topic, and if you just open this topic, I have mentioned that this is to get the Gagan document details. The scope is the scope of this is to agent is to get the document details, and here on this topic I have added one action, or and this action is nothing but the Apex action, and from here I am invoking an Apex class called Document AI Bill. So this class is nothing but this class, okay, and this class. So again this class is basically initially when asking agent can you please give me the details of uh, you know the pdf details of gagan it is basically fetching the name of gagan on the card application getting the file id on the file id i'm getting the version of the file which is stored for the gagan and then and and then we are converting that file into base64 we are sending the request we are first of all we are making the request body this is a request body this is the same request body which we were using in the postman right not postman we were using here right in the work branch so we were creating this type of we were sending this type of request so the same type of request we are building here in the apex class we are putting this meme type 
MIME type application PDF, same like this. We're also passing the build template. So here you can see we are passing the build template. And here we are passing the file. This file is nothing but base64 file, this one. Here we are passing hard-coded base64, base but the, this class is converting the PDF into base64. We are, have, we are not doing hard-coding as such. And now I'm going to ask Agent Force, hi, give me document details. Then it will ask me, are you asking the details for Gogan? See, could you confirm that the document details you're asking is for Gogan? I am saying yes. And now in the background, it will pass the Gogan value to the class and the class will do the call out to the document AI, convert the PDF into a JSON structure. So see, so this is the name of the person. If I go to the PDF, this is the same details, right? And the sender details is Eva Baker and uh, who is that? So Eva Baker is the sender. Similarly, item one, two, three, four. Item one, two, three, four. But the UI of this response is not looking good, right? The UI of this response is not looking good. So the next step is we are we are going to use the LWC lightning type and we'll convert this response into a good UI or something good ui or you know in a proper format and coloring and in a good layout so this is how you can use a document ai um one thing i forgot to tell you you have to also create one connected app if you are creating the apex class because when you are hitting this document ai you need the secrets secret information okay so for that i created a connected app uh, with oauth2 i can show you that so if I go to app manager, um, so here in the app manager, I created one connected app, both two, also both flow manager. And uh, Um, uh, let me go back. If I go to overflow, so edit, let's see. So, yeah, so I created this connected app. I have given the name of this connected app overflow, given the email ID. I provided the callback URL. Callback URL should be if you're using the production, production URL, then it should be login.salesforce.com auth to success if it is test environment then you have to use test.salesforce.com if you're using any sandbox but this is the playground so i have to use login.salesforce you have to add, add three scope here full access manage user data by api plus the refresh token access of scope and then you have to enable this one and uh, what you have to do in your in your class okay in your class in when you are sending the request you have to set the header with the secrets so you can see this is the header you have to set the header and here in the header you have to ask authorization bearer plus the access token and this access token in order to get this access token what i am doing i'm calling another class this is a class and this class is calling my disconnected app disconnected app i'm calling with the client id client secret of the connected app and this is my username and password. Um, anyway, this is the playground. Even if you are going to use it, it's fine. Uh, I will reset this password, by the way. So you can you can use this username and password to log into in a moment. And then you have to again set the endpoint. You have to do you have to do the post action. And then after you will do the post action, you will get the access token or the secret. That secret. You have to add here in the header of your document AI class here, and then it will be working fine. And then you will get the structured data. Uh, I'm going to share this class uh, with you if you need it. Stay tuned. Please support this channel by subscribing and so subscribing it. And if you have any query, you can comment down on on this channel. I will definitely give you the response. Thank you.